recording? Hello, all you cool cats and kittens. Uh, this is going to be a test drive of what I'm going to call Kicking It With Jay. We're going to be talking about a bunch of music, uh, everything you can do with music. I'm going to try to figure out how to work this mic cor correctly. You might hear my gains go a little bit different because I'm setting it up. All right, so the whole premise behind this um, podcast vlog uh, that you would that we're trying to do here. I'm trying to adjust some volumes, so just stick with me. We're good. What I'm trying to do here basically is um, talk about anything and everything that goes with music, praise and worship, music. Uh, I know we like to listen to a bunch of cool alternative praise and worship, you know, Elevation Worship, Hillsong, uh, Planet Shakers, all these guys. You know, they've been doing a bunch of stuff a lot of time. I'm really digging Elevation Worship right now, though pretty cool um but some of the people is going to be recording with me they're more of the the israel the uh fred hammonds the hezekiah walkers i'm a donna mcclurkin guy love donna mcclurkin uh great vocalist um, um everyone's gonna have a different opinion that's kind of like what i want to get at here i want to get a well-rounded view of what we're looking at what to deal with you know like i said uh, I've already made one of these recordings. The recording you're hearing now is probably fixed because I did not have sound on it, and it was me rambling on for about 10 minutes without any running any audio, even though I can hear it and hear. Um. <laughs> I'm learning this thing, man. It's okay. Hey, uh, so what I've got going on here, uh, yeah, there we go. That's better. That looks a little bit more front and center. Uh, so... You notice me holding this wonderful, cool little mic. Um, this little setup is called the Scarlet 2i2 Studio Package. It's the uh, Focusrite 2i2 um, third generation. Comes with a microphone, XLR cable, two audio inputs, and two audio outputs for st uh, studio monitors. Instead of using headphones, you can monitor it through monitors. I've got that whole package set up because I wanted to start kind of doing some recording stuff. Well. Not been feeling any really inspiration here lately, so. But I'm gonna get there. Uh, maybe collab with some friends of mine, see what we can come up with. Yeah. So, like I said, I've already done this. I rambled on for ten minutes. Uh, I talked about what already, kind of like what. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. But it's it's my first go around, and I'm trying. I'm learning. Uh, what's really going to be interesting is how the heck to upload this to YouTube or Facebook or wherever. Uh, that's that's the kicker. I'm gonna have to learn how to do that. So, uh, sorry, I'm reading my. Uh, menu buttons up here. I'm just trying to figure this stuff out. That's why I'm testing this. Like I said in the other video, which I'm going to quit saying that because uh, you already know this is already s a secondary video, but I'm going to try to see this blank wall behind me. I'm trying to go and do some captures, see how to get this all looking a little bit more pro instead of me sitting here in a t-shirt and my hands are messed up in a one month old quarantine beard. <laughs> uh, getting bushy. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this short because I don't really want to talk about everything again. Uh, but I will say, though, if you do see this video, you know, give it a thumbs up. You know, subscribe. You know, it's going to be an interesting, interesting little cast here. We're going to vlog or podcast. I don't know how to do it yet, but I'm learning. I've got some friends helping me and some other people we're going to be interviewing and stuff. We're going to be talking quite a bit a lot about music and how music has inspired us over the years, and I'm just trying to find a good angle, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, how music ins has inspired us over the years, and basically, you know, what do we do with it? You know, what do we do with it? How do we go about it? You know, what's it like playing with the different musicians, or what you're used to conference playing, or? Like, hey, I play in this ten person band, but you know, only two of us got uh picked up to go play with this other group that we're not used to playing with. Kinda like how do you kinda mingle with that? Especially if you don't know 'em. Yeah. It's hard to play with other musicians that you don't know because you don't 
understand how to feel. Being a musician, there's one thing that I have come to learn over the past 18 years. It's music can be technical. It can be like precision. But the majority of it you get is your feeling. If you're not if you're not like jiving with the band just right, if you're not lining up with the band, say your style is different than their style. Everyone's got a different style. It's like I play rock and I play I like to play uh you know, prog. That's you know, if you've never heard of a band called Dream Theater, I love them. That's me. That's my style of playing, along with some Clapton and BB King. I'm kind of a blues guy and a, a progressive metal prog. But, you know, I play Christian rock, too. I mean, obviously, we play it in church. But, you know, something different for me is playing gospel. Or a, I, I don't know how to say this without saying it, but black gospel. You know, like, <laughs> oh, shoot. Sorry, I got my mustache. But, you know, that's a different feeling in music versus, you know, regular southern gospel, you know? <laughs> it's different. Very different. The emotion behind it's different. And it's like a, there's more feeling behind black gospel than there is southern gospel. Even though the message is the same, it's the feel. There's a little bit of feeling behind it. Anyways, I want to quit rambling. I've already went for seven minutes now, just rambling away. But, you know, that's kind of like the idea of what I want to do. And people are probably thinking I'm crazy because they could probably hear me talking to myself. Well, I'm talking to you guys out there. Aren't you feeling special? Uh, <laughs> uh, for the record, I do play guitar, bass, and drums. I've got experience in all three. I started out playing bass guitar. And I uh, eventually got bored with that and started picking up the acoustic guitar and moved to electric. And it's a lot of fun when you play electric. A lot more fun. But acoustic's always nice, too. Some beautiful stuff has come from acoustic guitars. Absolutely beautiful. So, my hand's going up, holding this mic. Bear this position. Yeah. Sucks. So... Uh, carry on, my wayward sons. There will be peace when we're done. I'm going to close this down and try to figure out how to export it, and then I'm going to crowd along. Um, uh, <laughs> we're going to figure it out, boys. We'll figure it out, boys. Get it. Get it. Uh, something my stupid, my brother does. He's stupid. <laughs> it's funny. But gotta get it. Uh, we're gonna have fun. I like I like doing this. This is kind of gets me out of my shell. Uh, I'm very I'm a very introverted person. I I'm not an extrovert at all. I will gladly uh, stay in my small little circle and be like bye. <laughs> But, you know, I've got a small circle of friends that I keep close to me. And I can always rely on. But being an extrovert, no, sir. I do not make it a point to drive or to walk half a mile to go say something to some random stranger I met. I, I just am very closed up like that. It's just me. But this is going to kind of help me get out of my shell and be a little bit more uh, talkative. Even if it is on the World Wide Web and all you guys are going to hate me. <laughs> I just I can't wait to see the hate comments. That's, that's what's going to be great. Uh, because no matter how much positive that you put out there, somebody will always find a negative in your conversation. Just remember that tidbit of information that won't even charge you for it. So, <laughs> uh... Well, here we go. <laughs> We've got 15 seconds till the 10 minutes. So I've rambled on again for 10 minutes, even though I said bye to you like three times. But that's a southern thing. southern thing is you say bye to someone like three or four or five times before you actually go and get it in your truck and leave the driveway. 
but obviously we're not going. I'm just going to hit a button and say bye. So have about 10 minutes. <laughs> Carry on, people. We'll catch you when we actually start this up. You will see this feed like sometime. Whenever I finally, maybe once we get out of the quarantine, I can get more people to come out. But right now, everyone's really like, oh, my God, you cough. And it's like, Ugh. yeah. I'm not even going to get into my conspiracy theories about this quarantine. I'd really get some hate mail on that one. But, you know, don't try it on me, boy. All right. Later, folks. <laughs>